Hi, my name is Courtney Terry and this is Arts Alive. My guest today is Zach of Pollinate Flowers in Newburgh and also one of the co-founders of Wine Country Pride, which kicks off today. Today is the first of today. June, like happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> so what, last year was the first Wine Country Pride event and it was a bit more low key, but, and this year, it's going to be bigger and better. Much bigger. Well, technically, 2020 was our first year. We started very small and very um, socially distanced. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, last year, it got a little bigger, but still had a ton of the COVID restrictions. Um, and this year, with a lot of those restrictions lifted, we went way bigger and way better than uh, any of the previous years. So. Um, that's amazing. Well, and so um, I, there's already been a few events that have happened. I know there was um, a drag show in New, two in Newburgh, maybe. There's one in New. There one was one in Newburgh. Newburgh one there's in one McMinnville. One in Dundee, Dundee. Trying to like spread the love a little bit, you know, yeah, all through wine country. Um, and and I mean that's part of what we're trying to do is um, you know beyond Pride Month. Uh, Wine Country Pride as a nonprofit organization is trying to create uh, very visible celebrations of the rural queer community out here all year round. So having those drag shows and you know queer meetups and all of those other programs that we're uh, committed to uh, throughout the years like so important. But yes, and it's so exciting. It you know, I don't if it has happened, I don't remember, but that was the first time I've ever been able to go to a drag show here and like yeah. in my hometown. Yeah. I and think there was one little tiny one years ago that kind of didn't, I don't know, I don't know too much about it, but I think we've been able to bring drag to this area in a way that like has never been done before. Yes. And there's so much excitement around it, which is the coolest part of it. <laughs> yes. Well, and I think it's what you're saying. I think, you know, in terms of like rural communities and people may not necessarily know who's out there and who's supportive. And so, you know, Wine Country Pride has really done a lot for that. And um, you had mentioned there's the nonprofit aspect of it, and I know um, there's some of the different programs you do is fundraising for a scholarship program. Oh yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Um, so uh, obviously, as as Wine Country Pride, uh, this is our first year as a nonprofit. Um, one of the programs that we are uh, uh, that we have created is a scholarship program uh, for local um, LGBTQ. Uh, or allied uh, students uh, uh, who are going on to college or vocational schools. Um, last year, we were able to raise about $30,000. Oh my goodness. And we ended up with seven scholarship awards, oh, wow. uh, one for each of the uh, high schools in Yamhill County. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. And this, and this year, uh, we're doing the same, uh, hopefully. Uh, and, you know, another part of that is we've partnered with uh, P Flag Newberg, uh, who m matched our our scholarship, so oh, cool. it's it's becoming quite an opportunity for these these students to really shine. Yes, yeah. and that's it's so important for youth, especially, to know that there's a community there yes. that sees them and, and supports is supportive, them. Yes, support is key. Yes, uh, for not just the students, but for all the uh, rural queer community members out here and you know that's something that one country pride is focused on is like making sure that uh, the the lgbtqia community in rural america is is not being overlooked yes. uh, make sure that we are visible and uh, you know, we're here. We're here. We exist everywhere. <laughs> we exist everywhere. Everywhere. So it's really important that we show how much support there is out here. Um, and it's just been kind of magical <laughs> how much we've grown and how much support we've actually been able to garner. Yes, so. and there's, there's so much going on. So there'll be different months all through 
pride and it kind of culminates in this street fair which yes. is on saturday june 25th yes <laughs> tell me more about yeah. that okay so it's going to be the biggest uh queer celebration that wine country has ever seen uh yeah really exciting uh so we've have uh, blocked off a portion of alpine uh, uh avenue um in McMinnville. Uh, there's going to be uh, uh, entertainment, vendors, food trucks, uh, uh, activities, drag bingo, a pet parade. Uh, oh my gosh, so many really amazing things happening all throughout the day. It's a free event that's open to everyone, literally anyone. Yes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's just going to be so much fun. And like I said, the biggest celebration of pride that this area has really ever seen. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and beyond that, you know, you can always come and show up and, and have fun, but there are also so many ways to get involved uh, if, if you really want to participate even mm -hmm. further than just coming. So, oh. oh yeah, oh yeah. Like I said, there's the pet parade, there's, um, there's a talent showcase. Oh my goodness. If you're a local business or an artist or a creator, like it's a great place to have a booth to show your support for our community. Yes. So, and all those applications are available on our website. So oh, that's definitely so cool. get involved as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of volunteer opportunities. Exactly, exactly. And what time do the festivities, like what time? Yeah, so uh, the street fair is going to be from 12 to about uh, 6. Uh, and then the talent show ends the whole street fair. Uh, right after that, at Mac Market, we have a drag extravaganza. Oh, so nice. it is the blowout drag show of all drag shows. Wow! Uh, uh, hosted by Mac Market, uh, it's going to be huge. It is a ticketed event, uh, eighteen and up for that one. Um, granted, the rest of the street fair is super family friendly yes. and going to be really like all ages yes. are going to be able to have incredible amounts of fun. So. And pets. And pets. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's so cool. And so if people wanted to buy tickets, they could go to the Wine Country Pride website. Yes. So those tickets will be available uh, in the next coming days. Um, and I'm sure if you follow our social medias, which at Wine Country Pride, uh, we will be announcing Great. everything. And once again, on our website, there's every single way that you can get involved. So cool. Well, and another easy way to participate is I'm very excited for is the Rainbow Quest. Yes. And I was so impressed to see how many different oh businesses and grou uh, yep. groups around, not just McMinnville, but all, all over the of, county. Uh, beyond the county, even. Oh, you know, yes. we took, we took, we thought about calling it Yamhill County, but it really has to include wine country. So, wine country pride, we have people from all the surrounding areas uh, participating. And, and this year is our second year doing Rainbow Quest. Yes. And we have doubled in size. We have over 50 participating businesses. Oh, 50, yeah. that's just so incredible to, to feel that support from our community. Um, but each of those businesses is offering a food item or a beverage item or a retail item that's specific, that's, uh, specific to Pride mm -hmm. themed. Mm -hmm. uh, and the money from those sales uh, will go towards uh, Wine Country Pride uh, and all the programming that we do, including the scholarships, um, including the Pride uh, Street Fair. Yes. So, um, so it's really, really exciting. And it's a really cool opportunity to not only uh, stimulate our local economy and, and the businesses that are participating, but also to really show so much support for for the LGBTQIA people here in this county. Um, all of the businesses are equipped with the pride flag. So, uh, you know, we really feel like these places that are participating have become safe places for 
all of us to go and, and enjoy yes. uh, and feel comfortable. Yes. <laughs> well, and I mean, considering how popular the meltdown is every February, to me, this is another kind of, mm -hmm. I love those kind of opportunities where it's like, go out, support local businesses, enjoy amazing food. I'm already excited for whatever donut Beerly Brewing comes up with because the one they had last year was fantastic. Oh, it's going to be so good. It's, you know, and yeah. I might head over after this. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> if you want to go. Any after. day of the week. Okay. <laughs> it's really good to it. But yeah, and that's just so fantastic that people can have this opportunity. And so it's like, is there like a punch card or anything yeah. that goes with so that? So a lot like the Meltdown, there is a punch card. And uh, once you fill out your punch card, you don't have to get all 50. That's you know, a lot. Uh, Overachievers out there. <laughs> like, yeah. Amazing race style. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure there will be people. Uh, I hope there will be people. Yes. Um, but I think... Uh, but uh, once you fill out your punch card, you can send us a photo, um, and there are lots of different prizes that uh, that are that you'll potentially be entered to win. Nice. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, kind of to there's so much going on yes. this month. So, there's the street fair that's happening on the 21st. There's the 25th. 25th. Yep. Oh my gosh. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday the, the 25th. 20, yeah. The Rainbow Quest that'll be happening all month long. All month long. And then there's a couple other events. I know there's a trivia brunch at uh, Remy's. At Remy's. Winery. Uh, that's Les Brunch. Uh, should be a really fun event. Um, uh, tickets are on sale. Cool. You should definitely check that out online. Uh, and then. Uh, I think one of the coolest thing that's actually come, one of the coolest things that's coming out of this uh, whole wine country pride uh, is uh, the first ever queer wine fest. Mm. Uh, and when I say first ever, I mean first ever in the world. Yes. Uh. Go you get <laughs> yes. Uh, so um, what's amazing about it is it, this year we have sixteen participating wineries. And all of the wine that's being poured is either queer owned, uh, queer operated, queer made, or queer grown. Uh, and there's going to be food pairings and uh, live music from local a local band. And once again, just going to be so much fun and and a really cool way to celebrate everything that we do here in wine country oh that's fantastic yeah. and so what day what day is that happening? that one is uh friday the 24th so okay. the day before nice. the the festival so you can literally come out and make a weekend if you're not from this area you can come out and make a weekend of wine country pride go to the queer wine fest the uh pride street fair on saturday mm -hmm. and then sunday is a parade in uh, newburgh oh, cool. uh, yeah uh that's host that's put on by uh people like newburgh yay it's gonna be really fun yes and during this weekend you can also hit all the businesses that are participating in rainbow and quest that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you so. haven't already gotten all 50 before that point I hope there's some travel agents <laughs> out there that are putting together a travel package Absolutely. right now. <laughs> right in Yamhill County. It sounds wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I've been talking with Zach from Pollinate Flowers and also Wine Country Pride. And so, as we mentioned, people who want to get involved and volunteer can go online. Mm -hmm. WineCountryPride.com, Wine com. or okay. if you go to our social medias, which is at Wine Country Pride, uh, we have a link tree that literally will take you to every single way that you can get involved, oh, whether so cool. it's the pet parade or sponsorship or becoming a vendor. Yeah. Excellent. And yeah, so, and we'll keep an eye out on the social media for all the different events that we mentioned. Mm -hmm. Um, I definitely need to get a w to work creating some costumes for my pets for the pet parade. <laughs> I mean, just personally. <laughs> but... I tried, but my cat doesn't really oh, want enough. to participate fair this enough. year. Fair enough. <laughs> I got a tie. Like, you could, like, a tie on the collar. I love it. Not that I've dressed up my cats very often no, or no, anything. We, we've but... never done that. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, thank you so much thank again you. for coming and sharing with us about Wine Country Pride Absolutely. and Happy Pride Month. Thank you. You too. Thanks. <laughs> and this is Courtney Terry, and this has been Arts Alive. Mm.